Hello and welcome for a new issue of weekly Dasmod water cooling product updates. As I promised you last week, today we'll have a look in two great products, complete water cooling kits from XSPC and AK water blocks. Each of those products has at least slightly different components inside, they have different pricing points, so we'll have a look inside and I will express you my opinion, what it's worth, and I hope it will help you in your decision between those two. Before we go into any details, I would like to make a small disclosure for this video. I have only one kit in stock from AK because everything sold out at this moment, and this is a single radiator kit, so you see the box is relatively small. I will pretend this is a kit for a dual radiator, and also coming instead of LT, coming with a Supreme HF. Uh, so, uh, other than that, uh, the components of the kit are exactly the same, so in order to make those kits more or less comparable with each other in terms of pump power and other components, so we'll presume that this is kit with coming with dual radiator and HF, and uh, we will using RX240 kit from XSPC. So in this case, those two kits will be more or less apple to apple, and we have a you know, more fair comparison between those two. Let's talk about money and visual appearance first. So both kits priced below the cost of fully custom loop. As we discussed before, to start with a custom loop you have to look for the $300 or up. So for the XSPC kit you can start with CPU only loop for only $180 and the kit from AK uh, costs you about $250. So, it's uh, both kits is cheaper than start your fully custom loop so that's already a big uh, advantage and that's why those kits are so popular but so let's look what those 70 dollars difference actually buys you first of all when we're looking for xspc kit you get really boring uh, brown box everything very loose inside and this is a big complaint for me because things coming a little bit uh, boxes get scratched a little bit crushed on each other because uh, things doesn't really packed tight ni nicely inside of the box and we actually don't even use XSPC boxes uh, to ship it further to our customers we have to repack everything to make sure it's safe uh, and it's, it's no further scratching in the boxes appears uh, if we're looking for the EK, EK did much nicer look and product looks uh, pretty much upscale so we have very nice box with the EK colors everything very tight inside you can't hear any banging only sound coming on it is from the parts that actually inside their own boxes and uh, and the packaging is really really nice uh, of course packaging is only first impression but nevertheless I use your hobby you spend your money and you want to get something exciting going on and obviously get EK uh, box is uh, much nicer way than the getting just a brown box but again uh, there's a price difference and XSP have to suffer something so um, this is one of the parts to make uh, your kit cheaper to save on the packaging let's look inside of the XSPC box first what we have here so um, just open brand new box for you as I said, we get repack them anyway. So, so what we have here is uh, some stuff inside. There's a little bit packaging that helps with uh, with the with the banging, and uh, this is actually a new shipment. So, a complaint for SSPC is that things too loose. So, I you see uh, they put some some stuff to prevent you uh, from things shifting, but it's still pretty much loose. So, okay, in XSPC kit we have RX series, high performance radiator, 240 in this particular case that we're looking at. This is a sick radiator, 63 millimeters, high performance, uh, very popular model on the market. With the EK kit we have a XT series model, which is a slightly less sicker, as you can see here. It's about, uh, I don't know, five millimeter thick or something like this so we can compare the difference so with the K model we have a, a little bit less performance in terms of uh, radiator power because it's a smaller radiator 
in terms of the thickness. And so XSPC give you slight advantage because it's, it's a better radiator or more high performance radiator than, than a K. And um, looking at the tubing, we have a tubing from XSPC and I have tubing here from uh, EK. Both provide you with the cheaper versions of the tube, clear, no UV reactive, nothing. Approximately the same size, I don't know how much, maybe 9 feet or something like this. Uh, the difference between those uh, they the different sizes. XSPC kit comes with a 7 16 uh, size of the tube, uh, not very common sizing. Most of people use 3 8 or half inch, but uh, this is uh, whatever it comes. And uh, looking at the K, we have a 3 8 tubing which is smaller. A lot of people, especially in North America, prefer bigger tube, so it might appealing for you uh, more because you have a slightly bigger tube. Uh, in terms of performance, it's differences. Basically, you can discount it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, 3 8 or, or 7 16, you probably will get the same result. So we have a pretty much tie in this in this case. Both kits we're looking at here is a single CPU. Uh, dual radiator kit. So uh, let's look at the main component of those kits, which is uh, the CPU cooling blocks. Here we have kind of close tie with a little bit uh, advantage on the side of a K because uh, we have a Rasa block from XSPC and we have a Supreme HF block from from a K. The, those blocks was compared a million times in different forums and tons of information about them. Uh, HF has a little bit better uh, flow rate, a little bit better temperatures, and also more popular block. And uh, in the opinion of many, it looks nicer than, than let's say, a Rasa kit, which is rather plain looking. But the difference in performance is not that huge. So we have a uh, more or less tie in terms of the block performance here. And the visuals, I just leave it to you to decide which one you like or, or if you even care about that. So. Uh, the blocks is uh, a little bit shift on the side of the AK, radiator a little bit shift on the side of, of uh, XSPC in terms of performance only. So now n comparison became a little bit less straightforward because when we look on the pumps and and, uh, and uh, reservoir, they're coming with completely different styles of both. So let's look at XSPC. XSPC give you combination of pump and ready uh, and 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 reservoir in form factor of uh, bay reservoir. So here's something you need to keep in mind. So if you get a bay reservoir like this, so you have pump inside, you need to make sure that your case can can spare two slots for the optical drives, 525 um, inch slots, because this way this um, component is will be installed in. So if you have no space, Rasa kit might not even like work for you. Also, uh, it's important to keep in mind that uh, bay reservoirs a little bit more harder to bleed uh, means uh, to take air out of your system when you initially fill it up and you push air out. So it's a little bit of hassle in the beginning, but um, you have this thing on the front of your case. You have a changeable plate, black or or, or silver and you have a water levels inside and you have some LED lights so so there's tons of people who like uh, bare reservoirs uh, but this only choice coming with this kit and uh, you need to be sure that you're comfortable with what, what you're getting for a K you have a slightly different uh, style of parts you have um, separate uh, freestanding uh, pump TCP 4.0 and you have a cylindrical reservoir which get attached to the pump so you have a construction again of the combo between pump and the reservoir but the style of reservoir is cylindrical which easier to bleed typically uh, comparing with bay reservoir also those two components you'll put inside of the case so you from one side you don't need 
to use optical base from other side you need some space inside of the case to to put those two parts together also they're not too big uh, you also get a uh, anti-vibration pad and uh, like silencer kit for the pump so when you mount it on on the side uh, it's produce uh, less noise uh, comparing with just you mount it in a hard way so this is a little bit difference uh, here uh, XSPC a kit uh, you just mount it uh, into your bay area and the no anti-vibration rubber or anything like this so it might be a little bit more noisy than, than, than EK. In terms of performance uh, EK pump has very slight uh, improvement uh, in terms of liters per minute. Um, XSPC is uh, 700 liters per minute, uh, EK is 800 liters per minute. It's, it's, it's not a huge difference, it's very tiny little thing um, that give you slightly better performance on, on the side. Uh, what's left? Left is um, fans. So each kit coming with a set of fans. So this is uh, um, XSPC fans which is, I don't know, no name um, product. Um, its uh, performance is uh, 1700 RPMs. They also give you some radiator grills, which is nice things to have to protect your radiator or your fan from accidentally putting your fingers in and uh, damage either your finger or actually fins of radiator, which very easily bend. So this is the two parts that you're getting uh, from from the XSPC kit. For the EK, you have a uh, nicely packaged Yaitlun high-speed versions of the fans which is the 2200 so it's a faster fan uh, comparing with XSPC kit and also it means that it's important that your cooling performance is uh, is a two things one is the size of radiator and uh, other is the speed of your fan so whatever little advantage that XSPC has because of the radiator is seeker is get compensated by by the faster fan uh, on the side of um, of EK. Also, Yaitaloons was one of the most uh, popular fans for on radiators because they perform very well. So it's when XSPC we don't know um, for the EK, it's it, it's it's a proper choice and it's it's a good fan fans that coming with with the kit. Uh, another thing that uh, we have here is uh, it's coming with some uh, some differences between two. So. Uh, in terms of the fittings, what we have for the for the XSPC, we have a set of barbs, which is the cheapest way um, to go. And the barbs is a half inch barbs, so it means that if you would like to use different tubing with the XSPC kit, you need a half inch tubing. You can use 7/16, uh, but it's actually not a proper size of it, so you actually will can put on half inch bar but this goes very tight and this is a preferred way for some people who don't want to use clumps on the barb to secure your tubing so because it's so tight and uh, it just don't require any 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 clumps but if you still use them XSPC give you the cheapest possible uh, those plastic plastic um, clumps that coming with the kit so here we have half inch barbs and, and the clumps what we have on as a I'm not going to open it but <clears throat> what what the K gives you is they actually give you compression fittings this is definitely a part which is at least twice more expensive than um, barbs and also much easier for maintenance because compression fittings very easy to open disconnect tube to change anything for cleaning or just changing your design so this is definitely a huge advantage of a K size is they give you um, 3.8 size of compression fittings, but again, it's a smaller size than most people prefer in North America. Uh, lots of people like uh, half inch uh, size tube and fittings for whatever reason. Uh, but this is a 3.8 and they compression, so it's a huge advantage in terms of um, what you get from, from the kit. Uh, the other thing that is uh, totally different because you have nothing like this in uh, in a RASA, uh, EK give you blue. Um, dye and um, anti-corrosive uh, like component liquid so if you after blue color you have it here you don't need to buy anything else if you don't like color 
uh, at all or you don't need blue uh, this is basically will throw away another thing is that EK uh, gives you a um, nice manual with a lot of pictures so you open and uh, you have uh, everything step by step installation which is I think is important for people who People who buy kits, usually it's a starter, it's people who start water cooling because most people who already did water cooling probably will go with custom loop because it's more fun. But for the starters, I think manual is a critical and in this sense, EK did a good job to provide the proper manual here. I don't see anything like this uh, in, in a Rasa kit. So uh, basically you just need to assemble on its own. And. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So as you see, uh, EK is more expensive, um, Rasa is less expensive. So that's already one thing that might be the only defining point for many of you. Uh, in terms of performance, both kits are very similar. Uh, EK has slightly nicer, more popular parts inside of it. Uh, but it doesn't mean it will perform twice as bad as, as a Rasa kit. Right, so the choice is uh, I wouldn't recommend one over other. Uh, they're very close, and uh, you can afford a little bit nicer things. You go with a K, or because you like the style. Um, you on a tighter budget, definitely Rasa can't be beaten because it's it's so inexpensive. But it's coming with a uh, less sophisticated part um, in general and a simpler packaging. So make your mind what you like. Uh, the balls will work well. So uh, it's not one or other, but I leave it to you to decide. Both is uh, great choices and uh, definitely very popular and sells very well. And this means that lots of people find them useful. So I hope this video helped you a little bit with the selection between those two kits if you're struggling through the process. And uh, give me some feedback, uh, what you think, uh, maybe I missed something, and uh, we can discuss in the comments to this video. Thank you very much. See you soon again.